Ahoy, I'm gay. <laughs> Originally, I wrote what I wanted to share detailing the pain of the past two years that accompanied a very rapid period of growth. And I realized my new system of operating is about completely embracing and projecting out positivity, love, support, joy, complete self-acceptance. And it feels like, yeah, the past two years were really heavy for me and painful and scary and I'm sensitive, but I no longer want to let that dictate how I live. So I'm gonna make this video feel good in a way that's still honest because I'm not about turning away from your pain. I'm about embracing and living through every truthful moment, but I am about embodying the life you want to live before you see it in front of you because that's how it works. So something I've been wanting to share with this community for a while is that I am Gay as shit. More precisely, I'm I'm pansexual. What's crazy is I used to say in my videos, unfortunately I'm straight, and and I every time I would say it and I knew it in the back of my head there was this tiny little voice that was like, one day you're gonna know that's not true. But I was so scared of that voice. I was like, shut up, don't you dare. And it's crazy too because my face is slapped on like the gayest video game in history. And I was so proud to have my face slapped on that character because she was everything I valued in a person. I learned through a very beautiful and very excruciating relationship that I can love anyone regardless of their physical, sexual, and spiritual identification, gender, sex combination. It just literally doesn't matter. For me, it's about the soul. And that was one of the most liberating experiences I've ever had. But at the same time, it created a lot of self-hatred and distrust and fear in me. I was gifted this freedom in myself but it came with trials and tests and I was not coming out unscathed. I was freer and yet more suppressed than ever. I've mentioned it in like the past two videos that filming gave me a lot of anxiety and it's because for a minute there, I actually hated myself. And that's the saddest thing I've ever done to myself. Just a debilitating amount of self-hatred and I could no longer do the things that I used to love to do or that I wanted to do. Everything I wanted to do, I made embarrassing and every part of myself, I invalidated. And I really felt robbed of who I used to be and my true self. And I didn't know where I was or how to find myself again. And it wasn't until not long ago that my body had actually had enough. <laughs> and I couldn't take it anymore. I would wake up scared and sad and I was crying before work. I was and trying to enjoy life and I couldn't and I couldn't sit down and focus on a single task. I was getting sick all the time. I didn't care about what my body was telling me. I was just trying to fix it. I wasn't listening to it. I was just like, things are wrong and I need to fix them. And one day I was just crying to my boyfriend and I was just like, I am not a woman. It's not that I don't have feminine energy or enjoy expressing feminine qualities or femininity at all, but it doesn't tell the whole story. It's a category that doesn't fit. And that's something I've always known, but it is so dangerous in so many different ways, even really subtle ways, to go against the structure of society like And that. I was too much of a people pleaser. Like there was no way in hell but you can only suppress yourself for so long before your heart just stops speaking to you. And I I knew that. I knew I didn't want to numb myself. So here we are, I'm non-binary. I use they, them pronouns, and that's this video. <laughs> I think it's important to acknowledge that I still feel an incredible amount of discomfort. <laughs> but this community that has amassed around the videos that I make 
is so full of love and support and I think that if anyone in the world were to understand it's you guys a lot of your comments and your creations and just the way you guys speak and are is so reflective of the values that I want to see more of in the world and I think that that is why I even feel safe enough to be so honest on the internet which is a weird thing at the same time like the more people that are honest the more we can all share in that i really think the only ones that make it unsafe to be honest is ourselves i make the world unsafe for myself i mean obviously there are people out there that will like really harm you and do some fucked up shit but in terms of shame and whether or not i will take that on that doesn't come from other people. Other people can shame you all day long. Whether or not you choose to believe them is up to you. And I know it's hard, especially if you're surrounded by it, but that just means you have to be surrounded by something else. You have to go find that. And that's what I've been working on, <laughs> is finding that and being that for myself. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next vid. <laughs> bye bye.